Hello there, great 10 learners. It's teacher Luyet again, continuing the discussion on mathematics grade 10. So we are just through defining a sequence and the classification or the, the patterns, generating patterns. Now we will be continuing on the different types of sequences. So the first one is an arithmetic sequence. How are we going to determine whether the given sequence is an arithmetic or other type of a sequence? I have here five examples, or six examples rather. Let us analyze the given examples later on if they are considered to be an arithmetic or not arithmetic sequence. For number one, you have four, six, eight, and ten. Number one is an example of an arithmetic sequence. Number two, 5, 10, 15, and 20. This is also an arithmetic sequence. For number three, D, 2D, 3D, and 4D is an arithmetic sequence still. And number four, we have 20, 17, 14, and 11 is also an arithmetic sequence. So sequences 1 to 4 are examples of an arithmetic sequence. Let us analyze when these sequences are considered to be arithmetic. If we observe for number 1 to 4, we are adding a fixed number here. We are adding a fixed number 2 to sequence number 1 so that uh, we will be having the next number. So 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 2 is 10. And so through with number 2, we are adding a fixed number here, which is 5. For letter D, we are adding a fixed variable here, which is D. And for number 4, we are adding here a fixed number, which is negative 3. So now, that fixed number is called now our common difference. So if we have a common difference, therefore, it is considered to be an arithmetic sequence. So for number 1, our common difference here is 2. We find the common difference by subtracting the two consecutive terms. Say, 10 minus 8 is 2, 8 minus 6 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2. Same through with number 2, we just subtract the two consecutive terms here for number 3 and number 4. So for sequences 1 to 3, they are arithmetic sequence increasing in form because obviously the numbers here increases. And your common difference here is a positive number. For number 4, 20, 17, 14, 11, this is a decreasing sequence. Why? Obviously, the number here decreases. And also, our common difference here is a negative number. So we have, or we can identify an arithmetic sequence either increasing in form or decreasing in form. And also your common difference is needed also. How about for number 5? 3, 6, 12, 24, although we have a pattern. But do we have a common difference? We do not have a common difference here. But we have a common factor here, which is positive 2. If we multiply 3 by 2, that is 6, and so on. The next term after 24 is 48, but it is not an arithmetic sequence because we do not have a common difference. Same through with number 6. Is this an arithmetic sequence? Obviously, it's no. Some may answer, uh, just alternate in sign. Obviously, the next, the next term after negative 5 will be positive 5. We can have also by multiply, we can get the next term by multiplying it by negative 1. So we have a common factor also, which is negative 1. So it is not a, it is not an example of an arithmetic sequence. So we can only consider a sequence arithmetic if and only if we have a common difference. They have a common difference. And how are we going to solve now for the end term of a given arithmetic sequence? Consider this equation or the formula. Your a sub n can be solved by a sub 1 added to the quantity n minus 1 times our common difference. In here, your a sub n here is your n term 
obviously your a sub 1 here is our first term your n here is the number of terms and d here is our common difference let us go further to understand more on arithmetic sequences Consider the given sequence here. 3, 7, 11, 15, and 19. Is this an arithmetic sequence? Obviously, it is an arithmetic sequence. Our common difference here is 4. So, we have arithmetic sequence. How about now the next one? Negative 2, negative 5, negative 8, negative 11, negative 14. Our common difference here is negative 3. It is a decreasing sequence and our... Uh, it is an arithmetic sequence still because we have a common difference. How about now the next example? 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. It is not an arithmetic sequence because we have a constant factor here which is 2. It is not an arithmetic sequence because we do not have a common difference. So if we have a common difference, it is an arithmetic sequence. More let us have more exercise here. Find the missing term or terms in each of the given sequences. 3, 12, 21. What will be the next term after 21? Our common difference here is 9. So therefore, we have to add 9 to the preceding number to get the next number. So 29 added, uh, 21 plus 9 is 30. 30 plus 9 is 39. So the missing terms are 30 and 39. So, that is how we identify a given sequence arithmetic. How about now if we wanted to find for the n term of a given sequence? As long as we know your common difference, we know your n term, then we know your first term, we can easily find for our common or for our n term so supposing given the sequence as 2 4 6 8 we have here the given sequence what if we are asked to look for a of 10 or the 10th term so we have to find for the 10th term now solving for the 10th term apply the formula you have here a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times our common difference. So we have now your a sub 1 is 2, our n is 10, our d is obviously if you are going to subtract we have our common difference which is 2. So just substitute a sub 10 therefore is equal to our first term which is 2 plus what is our n again? It's 10 minus 1 times our common difference, which is 2. So you have now a of 10 is equal to 2 plus the quantity 9 times 2. So our a of 10, simplifying further, you have 2 plus 18, which is equal to 20. So our... 10th term is equal to 20. So we have your first term, your common difference, and the number of terms. So your 10th term is equal to 20. I guess you learned something from this session again. And see you again for our next session on sequences. Good day, everyone.